Hello YouTube, it's Rubik's Cubex, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys, and I recently came across this um, just today, and I thought, well, what a good idea to put on the channel, it's a good reference. Um, you might hear some noise in the background, and that's my Cubex printing, and I'll explain what I'm printing shortly, because it kind of goes into why I'm making this video. So first off, I know many of you, uh, when we use Kislesser, you do not have the Pro Key yet, or you just don't need it, and that's where I am. Um, I haven't got into dual printing yet. I'll get there eventually, uh, but I'm not into doing two colors at once yet. I'm, so I would have to purchase the, the Pro Key, and that's on the to-do list, but for now, I don't have the uh, the Pro Key. And another thing is you can't import in Kislesser two objects that are different. You can duplicate one object, but you cannot create two different objects. So as you can see here, I have found a way to import two different objects into an STL file. And this is very quick, and I want to show you guys today. So let's minimize this, and um, what I decided to print is, I recently got into woodworking, I've been doing that for the last couple of days. Um, that's why I haven't been video uh, making videos recently, because um, I've recently made a table for my mom because um, she hasn't found anything she likes. So this is the finished product. We recently put a coat of gloss sealer on it, and it's that's what it looks like. So I wanted to progress and make more wood furniture because I really enjoy it. So I looked into making dove cuts, and um, if you don't know what that is, it's just it's a way to piece together wood. And I'm 3D. I decided that I 3D printed this little template, but I didn't want to print this one and then have to go print another one. So I was messing around with how do I take this STL file and this STL file, join them together so I can print it at one shot. Now this only works if you have Windows 10. If you don't have Windows 10, I'm sorry. And you're going to have to do it the old fashioned way using whatever other software. But what you do is you locate an STL file. okay? So, for example, we got, this is one of them. You open it up in the 3D Builder. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you tap it, open with, and it should say 3D Builder. This is an integrated Microsoft uh, 3D program into the operating system. And it's really cool because you can just tweak and look at 3D parts um, without having any software if you don't have any to start with. You always want to do millimeters because that's the default size of an STL file. Import it, and boom. There, good to go. Now what you need to do is you want to go insert, oh sorry, insert add, local object, then you're going to browse for the other object. In my case it's this one. Once it's in there, all you do is you make sure it says millimeters, import model, you, you actually just drag accordingly, and then rotate it how you feel like it, so I'm going to put 90. And I want to rotate this more, so we'll come want to go that way some, and then I want it to come this way some. So once it's like this and how you like it, and it's lined up, you click this button here, the save, scroll down, put STL, and you put um, whatever whatever title you want to do, and then you save it. And then you save it as an STL. You say, okay, I don't care about you. So we go over to Kislesser. We click open, we locate the file, and boom! You just got two different STLs into one file and you can print it. This is not going to be dual color obviously because we um, I do not have the pro account that allows me to do two different colors at once, but it does allow me to print two different objects at the same time. I hope you guys like this video. If you want more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Hope you guys enjoyed. 